everybody, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com. It's early Monday morning, overcast day, and I taught a lot of people this past weekend, so my teaching energy is burned out. But my secondary black belt student, Nathan, came over. You guys know Nathan from other videos we've done here at our Shaolin Center YouTube channel. He wants to train the Chinese sword this morning, so I figured we would train together on camera and show some of the martial art instructors out there how I put a black belt through like a 15 minute or so training session with a straight sword theme. And you can apply this outline to your school, your system, or your students. So we need to go over the form first. And if you guys click on the screen right now, up here, there's a few buttons. One is here, one is here, of me and Jokum going through the Skewer the Sun sword form. If you want to learn it, watch those videos. Nate's already seen it before, so we're going to just review it a few times and we're going to add some straight sword cross training in there as well. So to start our training session, we're going to unsheath these guys. And... Here you go, let me that. I always feel like when we train on a rainy, drizzly day, it's like it's we're ancient warriors of days of old. Don't you feel that way? Or like yeah. midnight training. All right, so put it in the hand this way like you have it. Step here and breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. So nice and slow. No intensity yet. Just for memory. Step, flip it up, and go to the left. Step out this way from across the shoulders. Come back. Flip it by the leg. Drag cut back the cat. Then deflect. Deflect, lunge out, and slice somebody down. Then circle, cut back, and thrust up. Deflect. Deflect, cut them back, and then turn and cut toward the sun. Spin to natural stand, thrust up. Deflect outside your leg, hook past the right leg, and thrust down to horse stance this way. That's the section we're going to go over today. So hit your horse stance really quick. Okay. And give me this. Make it a good horse stance. And hold that for 30 seconds. Sword is trembling. <laughs> Stay there. Okay, put your hands right here on the front of the sword and 15 push ups, nose to the blade. Touch the nose of the blade each time. I want to see a rust spot where your nose hits the sword. How many is that? 12. <laughs> Good, back up on your feet. Back to horse stance. Hold it again. Does it make you bitter when I'm not doing this with you? <laughs> Would you rather me do it with you? <laughs> Good, okay, stay there. Push up position. 15 more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Lower. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Good. Grab it. No break. Let's do it again. In. Out. In. Down. Step. Flip it up. Point to the left. Step out. You are in natural point. Bring it back from here, deflect, cut to cat. Deflect here, deflect here, cut down to jade ring. Circle back, thrust up, deflect, deflect, roll it, cut, skewer the sun. Spin natural, deflect, hook past the leg, down the horse, hold the horse, freeze. Keep that in your hand and sink it down. Lower. Just 15 seconds. This up here, like this right here. Back straight. There you go. Good. Back down. Push-ups. Give me that. Go for it. Fifteen push-ups. Good. 
Now grab mine for a set. Let's go lighter. And one more time. Now in, out. In, down. Step, flip it up to the left. Then around, point. Come back, deflect, cut, cat stance. Deflect, <laughs> deflect, jump out, jade ring. Hook back, skewer up. Deflect, deflect, drag, cut, skewer the side. Spin natural, deflect, hook this way, and down. Hold there, horse stance, freeze. And then, put this back. 10 seconds now, 10 seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back down to push ups for 10. Nose to it. Hands wider this time, wide out. Good. Shake the arms out for a second. Now go once on your own. Let's see what you got. So chamber it. Immortal points the way. Step out, flip it up. Point to the left. Chamber it, spin 180. Point to the right. Circle back, deflect, cat stance. Dragon step one, dragon step two. Jade ring, cut down, right side forward. Circle back. Thrust up. Dragon step again. Dragon step again, skewer the sun. Spin to natural. Dragon step, lift the leg, hook, down to horse. Good, stay there, 10 seconds again, hold it. Now, pop up on one leg, lift one leg up, and get this balanced here. So keep the leg hip height and flat, and balance the sword. Now put this leg out to a side kick position. Hold the side kick out. Right here. You gotta give me five seconds of side kick hold with balance. So ready? One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Other leg up. Kick hold. He's there. Five, four, three, two, one. Fifteen push ups. And hold the fifteenth one nose to it. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Hold the nose to it and do not come up. For 10 seconds, the sword's in your back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and come on up. Good, grab mine, grab mine here. And go through it one more time here. I'll guide you through it again. Natural stance, bow. Immortal points the way. Step out to the heel, flip it up, point the way to the left. Spin around to natural, point the way to the right. Grab the sword and flip it back to cat. Deflect to the left. Dragon step. Now fake step to jade ring and cut down to right. Circle back, thrust up. Dragon step, dragon step. Skewer the sun, spin to natural. Dragon step, lift the leg, thrust to horse. Good, I'll do it again from the beginning without me saying it. Is the memory uh, hard? Well, right now it is. With the conditioning? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. The two is, is good. We're kind of culting you into, brainwashing you into this form. Take your time. Make it smooth. Sounds better. Good. You've got it now when you start facing that way. So now, just flip it around and start facing that way. And prove me you still got it. Slow and smooth, kind of Tai Chi-like.
point to the left, <laughs> chamber it, point to the right, step back. Circle back. Screw the sun. You covered that one well. Collect, lift the leg. Yes. Good. As your goal, do this 20 more times today, but I'm not around. In different environments, facing different directions. And you'll have it. This is the first third. There's two thirds left. So you guys see how I train somebody. Try to keep it light and positive. We're in the, in the rain, so we feel like ancient warriors of the old days. And uh, we're gonna put our swords away before they get rusted in the rain. Uh, but also we alternate between form training, conditioning, form training, conditioning, form training, conditioning, and then form training facing different directions. And this is what you should apply when you're teaching a student, no matter what style of martial arts you do, no matter what system you're training in, whether it's empty hand, animal, weapon, internal, whether it's Hapkido, Karate, Jeet Kune Do, Taekwondo, or Kung Fu, it's a great way to approach your training because they'll get strong Ah, I hurt my hand with that shoulder strength. They'll get um, athletic and they'll be able to apply that athleticism toward the form training and then have them put their mouthpiece and groin cup on and implement the sparring. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button for me. Say good job to Nate in the comments down there and uh, subscribe. Check out jakemace.com for more about us and we'll see you guys next time. Great job.